On this episode of Motivate's Do-It-Yourself Garage, we are going to check the engine oil pressure. To check our oil pressure, we need a gauge. This is a gauge kit I picked up at Harbor Freight. It's the Pittsburgh Engine Oil Pressure Test Kit, and there's two things I really like about it. The first thing is the size of the gauge. It's a nice big gauge and makes it easy to read. Also, it comes with a lot of these different fittings, so we can use this gauge on just about any engine. Now, that leads us to the next question. Well, which adapter do we use on Nissan engines or the VQ37 VHR in general? I believe all Nissan engines, and I think almost all Japanese engines, will use a 1.8 BSP fitting. When you look at the instructions that come with the kit, at the very back they give you a parts listing. So the two 90 degree elbows, one of them has a male fitting that's 1.8 NPT, and one of them has a fitting that is 1.8 BSP. If you hold these up side by side, you can see there really isn't much difference between them. So how do you figure out which is which? You don't want to mess up the threads on the upper part of the oil pan. It's aluminum and you don't want to mess them up. Here's how you find out. This female thread here is known to be 1-8 national pipe thread, MPT. So as we screw this in, we get in about three turns and it just comes to a, a, a nice stop. It's not an abrupt stop like we've locked threads. It just kind of slowly grinds and gets stiffer. That tells me that this fitting here is 1.8 NPT. Now to show you the difference, I am now suspecting this fitting is 1.8 BSP, British Standard Pipe Thread. So as we screw this on here, we can see, look, it, it just it screws on and then it comes to an abrupt end. One of the differences between the National Pipe Thread and the British Standard Pipe Thread is the tapers different. Now you probably can't see that in the video, but that's why this goes all the way in because the BSP taper is less than the NTP taper. So anytime you have a fitting and it goes all the way in, it's a mismatch with regards to the 1 8 NPT and the 1 8 BSP. Again, here is a proper match of 1 8 NPT and we get about three-ish turns in and it locks like that because it's the proper taper on the male portion and the proper taper on the female portion. Again, with the BSP, as we screw it on, it goes all the way and comes to a very quick end. So this tells me that this fitting here is the fitting we're going to use on the VQ37 VHR because it is the 1 8 BSP. So just to help you get oriented where we are, that's our oil filter. This here is our oil temperature sensor and this is our oil pressure switch. So the first thing we will do is pinch the tab, wiggle the connector, get it off like that. There is a special tool you can buy to get on this, but this should work just fine. Generally, they're not really all that tight. There we are. So I do have an oil pan underneath because I'm not really sure how much oil will come out. And it has been a while since the car was running. There we go. We'll find out together. My guess is it won't be very much. All right. So that is our oil pressure switch. The next step to get the adapter for the gauge. There we go. Okay, that should be good. And I'm just gonna snug it up. There we are. 
so that should be good there. I'm going to start the Torque app. I'm now going to go to real-time information and I've made up my own dashboard. So we're gonna swipe up here and here we can see coolant temperature, oil temperature, air intake temperature and a bunch of other stuff. So now I will start the car. Oil temperature is 72 and the pressure is about 30 PSI. According to the factory shop manual, the oil temperature must be 80 degrees Celsius before we check the pressure. Using the Android app Torque with the Infinity EX plugin, we will monitor the oil temperature and let the car idle until it's 80 degrees Celsius. Okay, here we are. So our coolant temperature is 92, our oil temperature is 80, and our pressure is, I'm gonna call that 24 PSI. So that's very nice. I'm now going to rev the engine to 2000 RPM. Okay, there's 2000 RPM, maybe a tick under, and we have just over 56 PSI, and that's great. To put the car back as it was, I'm going to remove the adapter I have at the end of this hose. I'm going to screw in the oil pressure switch. I'm going to hook it up electrically. I'm going to start the engine, double check for leaks, make sure everything is fine. If it's not leaking, I'm going to put back on the underbelly pan, roll it off the ramp, and the car is good to go.